Hey, manual therapy friends, it's Dr. David here from El Paso Manual Physical Therapy, and we're going to do an SI joint manipulation today. Now, this is for your manual therapy Thursday. We're specifically going to correct what I call a posteriorly rotated innominate or iliac. So the assumption here is that we've already checked his pelvis symmetry and the position of all the bones, the sacrum and the, the iliac bones, and that there is a posteriorly rotated left iliac here. So this would be the setup for it. Now, um, with this technique, this is, this is kind of a chiropractic style technique. Um, it's, or, or osteopathic is, a, is the other one. Um, there's a version where you can stand in, on the other side of the patient. I'll be, I'll, I'll be in the back right here. Um, but the one on the other side is more the, the chiropractic version of this. Um, now, I'm looking to be specific at affecting the SI joint, but inadvertently you might get a bunch of lumbar segments to cavitate as well. And you may never even get a cavitation. All I'm looking for at the end of the day is that when I go back to check the position of that pelvis is that it is normalized, it is symmetrical. And the benefit to this, of course, for lower back pain, um, oftentimes it's sciatic in nature, I'm sorry, not sciatic, um, uh, SI joint in nature. So of course you have the lumbar spine here and then it goes down to the sacroiliac joints. And sometimes people point real low to their back pain, they're likely pointing to a, an SI joint, it's, it's huge. If they've got some pelvic dysfunction, um, you can fix their back pain by freeing up that SI joint that is stuck in, in a position that where the, this is rotated. Um, so let me go through the technique here. There's a lot of steps here and a lot of body um, mechanics and motor skills are required as far as the manual therapist. Um, so you might need to replay this video, rewind, and, and go through it. And of course, you'll have to do it on the other side and reverse everything to, to do the right SI joint. Uh, but let me go through it. Now, you're going to set the patient up very much like you would set them up for a lumbar gapping manipulation or lumbar manipulation. So I'm going to take your right arm here and let's rotate you all the way. And we're going to side bench as well. I'm going to bring the pillow over so his head isn't hanging off the edge. Then what I need you to do is with your left hand, grab the edge of the table right there. Good, this hand's gonna rest right there by your hip. Then with the bottom leg, we're gonna straighten it out and position the toes behind the calf there. Now what this does is it locks out the spine above the sacrum and it locks out the hips so that we can focus our motion on that SI joint. Now what I'm gonna do is grab, <clears throat> grab his right hand and we're going to be holding hands and then I'm going to put my left hand on the PSIS right here. So I want his PSIS to fall in, in the well of my hand here in this, in this deepest part of my palm so that I can use it as a ledge to shove up and forward or, or, or over to position this iliac better. So I'm going to go through the force here, my legs, I'm, everything's specific and, and intentional here. I'm going to wind them up. And then I'm gonna ask him to tension up his arm just a bit so that I can get some counter leverage and make sure that all my force is going through that um, SI joint. Um, so here it is in real time. So I'm gonna grab my hand right there. When I ask you to resist me, just don't let me pull you more, okay? And I'm putting my left leg back. That's how it should be. Laying him up here, winding it up to find the end range. He's not gonna hold me yet. Okay, hold me right here. There we go. So what I did there was I bounced a bit at the end carefully just to assess where the end range was. And then once I found the end range, I got him to lock out, loaded him up, and gave him the thrust. That should correct that posterior nominate. Now, a word of caution here. If it's important, in my opinion, it's important to find the direction that the, that the iliac or the nominate is shifted because if there is an anterior shift on this left side, so in other words, the iliac is rotated anterior, the PSIS is gonna be anterior, and if I'm pushing that further anterior, you might make the situation worse. So exercise caution when doing this technique. It should, it's not a, a shotgun technique. This is not something you wanna just do willy-nilly on everybody. You should assess and know 
who needs it, and who doesn't, who can potentially get hurt from this technique. So I hope this is a helpful Manual Therapy Thursday. Hey, if you find, if, if you find that you have some questions about this, just comment below. Um, I'll jump in on the chat as fast as I can, or you can message me as well. I'd love to get some talk about if you think that this is something that would be beneficial for you using your clinic, or if you've done this before, um, or any other concerns. I'd love to discuss more about manual therapy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.